Yo, what's up, everybody? Welcome to the DMP Sports Podcast. I am Chad Fisher, alongside my co-host, Mr. Coy Hopper. What's up, brother? What's up, man? Fucking chilling, man. It's uh, been a really good sports week. Super excited about that. Uh, before we get into everything, we just want to let everybody know, sponsor for the show is MyBookie. Make sure you go to MyBookie.ag, use promo code DMP. You're going to get a 50% match on your deposit up to $1,000, which is a fucking amazing deal. Uh if you have an iPhone, they have an app which you can download. If you're poor and you have an Android, uh, just go to the website, mybookie.ag, like my friend Coy over here. Dude, having an Android doesn't mean you're poor. <laughs> it just means you're not in a cult. <laughs> That's pretty good, dude. I like that, man. That's very true. Uh, I'm not in a fucking Apple cult, but I'm also you know, kind of poor. But, yeah, make sure you go to mybookie.ag, use promo code DMP. You're going to get a 50% match up to $1,000. What that means is if you put down $50, uh, you're going to get a $25 bonus. So uh, $100, you're going to get a $50 bonus. Make sure you use promo code DMP. That helps us out a little bit. Spreads the word, gives us a little bit of money, and um, keeps my bookie sponsoring us, which is awesome, which we definitely need, man. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah, brother. Hey, uh, before we get started on talking about some sports, man, this is something you and I had talked about a little bit. So... I have been, my fucking cable bill is outrageous and shit, you know, and I've been saying for a while, like, I got to fucking, I got to, I can't be paying this much money for cable and everything, you know, and so I have direct TV, I'm old school, I got the old direct TV shit, and so I told Koi for several weeks, like, hey, dude, I'm not fucking, I'm cutting the cord, man, I'm not going to do this anymore, and so I switched over, I tried to get ESPN Plus, and I was like, dude, all I watch is Sports Center, all this shit, you know what I'm saying? And so I switched over. Uh, I actually called DirecTV and had them suspend my account. And I lasted all of about, I don't know, like an hour having direct, uh, without DirecTV. And then I was like, this is bullshit, dude. I'm, I was pissed the fuck off too, man. I was like, I'm not doing this shit. Like you were just going crazy. I was, dude, it was fucking annoying. Because like one of my favorite things in life is to sit down, eat dinner, and turn on SportsCenter or watch a game. Turn on. I got the NBA League Pass. Or just you know even having a game on, like in the background, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the best, dude. And so, I uh, switch. I cut the cord. I got. I paid for ESPN Plus. And little did I know, which is fucking bullshit. On ESPN Plus, when you just have ESPN Plus, yeah. you can't watch Sports Center. I told you that. You did. Yeah, remember I said, dude. I must you, have been you have to have. So, because I I used to think the same thing. People think that oh, you just pay like what is it, twelve bucks a month or whatever. No, you have to have another a cable package to support ESPN, and then to get ESPN Plus. So I think that's total bullshit. It's like an adi- it's basically just an additional package to yeah. cable. Which I did. I sent you that YouTube TV. I mean, I know it's not the best, but it's still like wait. It's like probably sixty bucks cheaper than Direct TV. It could tide you over. You can go back, dude. Get uh, YouTube TV for like three months. You can still watch all the NBA games. They did fucking last year, man. The day before the season, they cut MLB Network, which still pisses me off. Yeah, that's bullshit. I love Because that's MLB a great Network. channel. Because they would have like three baseball games a day on that on so, that channel. Yeah. Except my Astros, who I can't watch at all unless I have AT and T. Like I can't just get it. Like if I could just pay for a channel, like hey, I'll, I even did MLB package one time, and then it's blacked out still. So even if I did MLB extra innings, they still black out the Astros games. So which the is only horseshit. the only way to get Astros is to actually have to get fucking AT and T or Directv because they're the same company. Like that's it, and I just think that's disgusting. It makes I mean, me, that's, that's makes highway me, robbery, dude. That they're even allowed to do oh, that, dude. It's I remember back up. in the old days when Fox Sports Southwest and all those uh, the regional Fox Sports channels, mm-hmm. and you were able to watch the Rangers and the Astros and the Stars and the Spurs. So there was like always uh, those content on you know after football season. But now, uh, yeah, dude, tough yeah, times. Dude. So I lasted uh, about 30 minutes, man. So I sat down with my dinner the other night, and I was like, oh, fire up the old ESPN Plus, which I you know, signed up for like 15 minutes before. And I'm trying to watch SportsCenter because uh, SportsCenter where SVP is on, with Scott Van Pelt, and I'm like, I just want to watch the SportsCenter, man. And I, I sit down, and I can't get it. And I'm thinking like, what the fuck is going on, man? You know? But this doesn't make sense, dude. So – you can't watch Sports Center uh, with ESPN Plus, but you can on your phone. 
Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, so I like pulled it up on my phone, and then I tried to do like AirPlay from my phone to the TV, and it would only do audio, wouldn't do video. Really? Yeah, dude. So I was just getting like, oh my god, I was getting so fucking pissed off, man. I was just like, all I want to do is eat these fucking chicken wings and watch goddamn Sports Center, man, and I couldn't, you know. And then, <clears throat> so I started watching fucking hockey because that's all I had on fucking uh, ESPN Plus was hockey. And I'm not even a hockey fan. I don't know shit about hockey, you know? And so I started watching. I don't know who the fuck it was. It was like so you were able. So hold on. You were able to watch ESPN Plus without cable? On my phone. And then, but, uh, no. Uh, yeah, on my TV. So you, okay, so you, so, but you just can't watch anything on ESPN. Yeah. But you can still watch. Because the, they do have hockey. And they also have uh, golf. And they have out-of-market games, which is cool. So there. Thursday, Friday, they have the, the daytime golf of the tournaments, which is actually yeah. really nice. Yeah, which is cool, and I thought about keeping it for that, but it's like, you know, with that, I got Hulu Plus with that or whatever, you know what I'm saying? So it's like 16 bucks a month, but I'm just like, dude, I'm not fucking, I'm not paying an extra $16 for this shit. You can suck my dick. And so, yeah, I uh, I was just sitting there just pissed the fuck off, and then I was like, dude, with my DirecTV, uh, I could switch. It was a commercial, so I was watching it on my phone while I'm eating dinner like a sad fucking piece of shit. And then so, <laughs> I was like, this is what divorcees, yeah. divorcees fucking uh, You're like dude. Marty Hart and True Detective at the <laughs> yeah, end. Yeah, you know? And so, and then I'm like, this is the time, it was a commercial, and I'm like, this is the time when I would switch to MLB Network and watch highlights from the baseball games today, you know? And I was missing that. It was pissing me off, man. I all got so fucking pissed off. It was just a sad, lonely fucking night. So, long story short... The very next day, I fucking called DirecTV back, and I'm like, hey, start my shit back up. I'm fucking done with this, man. <laughs> so I lasted like one day, you, you know? You can't have a sports uh, company, Chad, doing sports content without having cable, Yeah, dude. yeah, exactly, dude. And so that's why I thought to myself, too. I was like, what am I doing, man? Like, I fucking I work for a sports betting company. We have a sports podcast. We fucking have sports sketches. I can't fucking... I, I I can't not have. Yeah, you could be like, dude, you could write it off as a business expense. Mm -hmm. I, I just had that idea because we were talking about taxes. Yeah, we totally could. Um, hundred percent. That's a hundred percent. We're writing off our cable free. bill. Um, and I split my YouTube TV, but I ain't telling the IRS that one. Woo. Yeah. You can't prove that, bitch. Yeah. I'm paying that whole thing. That's all for my bank account. I'm sending those statements, auditor. Yeah. So I uh, <laughs> I was just like. I'm fucking done and I actually called DirecTV and I was like, hey, how much do I pay a month? Because I don't even fucking know how much I pay. And they told me and I was kind of like, fuck, dude, that's a lot of money, man. I think it's like like fucking 140 a month or yeah, something. Yeah, that's a lot, dude. And I'm like, dude, that's so absurd. But I'll say this, man. Fucking within the first 15 minutes of watching ESPN Plus on my uh, uh, TV, the fucking shit went out. You know what I mean? It like fucking... Oh, stream is not available. Your internet's down or some shit like that. And I've got like fucking pretty good internet. And I was like, you know what? I'm sitting there like literally cussing myself. I'm just like, this shit never happened with direct TV, man. Never fucking had to deal with this shit. Never had you to broke deal the with the streak. It. So I just got pit. I was like, dude, if you want to, that was the most angry dinner I've ever fucking been a part Damn, of. Man. <laughs> Sad and angry. Go I'm outside, like, Chad. By myself eating dinner pissed off because I don't have enough sports to watch you know and so yeah dude so i i fucking uh i switched back yesterday i called him up the dude started cracking up laughing he's like uh did you just suspend your service i was like yeah it lasted like 30 minutes before i got so pissed off. i would have called you last night but i had chicken wings in my hand you know what i mean like what am i gonna do so uh yeah man uh i'm back on it i don't give a fuck it's fucking way too expensive i don't give a shit i was asking the guy i'm like what am i What's all in my package? And he was like telling me. And he's like, you got the sports package? And I'm like, okay, I'm keeping that. You know what I mean? So I've got like a fucking 200 channels, 190 of which I don't fucking yeah. need. I but wish that whatever. they would just have like a sports. It should be like 20 bucks a month to get like the MLB. It'd probably be like 40. NBA. Because I think that's what actually the only reason cable is still alive mm -hmm. is because of live sports, right? I mean, that's why exactly. I Exactly. That's, the only, that's why the only reason I have this. Yeah. I used to be poor too, man. Um back in the day mm -hmm. and i remember i didn't have cable and uh, i just had an antenna yeah and this is before streaming even dude and yeah dude it was depressing man i only uh the only times you could watch a game was on the weekends right when they put it on like network mm -hmm. tv mm -hmm. and i would end up going to like the sports bar by my apartment anyway 
You end up paying so, way yeah, more. So yeah, so I end up, you know, yeah. add all that up together yeah. if I want to see a game. Yeah, one night at a sports, sports bar. And then it's like not the same bucks. to watch a game at a sports bar. You can't really pay nah. attention as much. Can't rewind shit. No. Can't, yeah. So yeah, I hear you. So I'm part. just like I'm I'm on the direct TV shit. I like the previous button where I can like flip back and forth. I don't want to have to like fucking close ESPN to open CBS to watch it. It's like it's too fucking much, man. You know what I mean? So it's like, dude, I don't fucking I don't spend money on other shit. I don't have like too many vices, you know what I mean? So I'm like, dude, the one thing I do is I'm going to pay $150 a month for fucking Yeah, I mean, table, you could save money in a whatever. sense if you think of it. Like, I, I don't go out because I have yeah. this entertainment yeah. in my house. Yeah. Oh, that's how I justify NBA League Pass every year is because I'm like, dude, it's it's now it's 100 bucks a year, which is fucking crazy. It used to be like 200 you know what I mean? When I first started getting it, I've been getting it for like almost 10 years, you know, and it used to be like $200. Now it's 100 bucks for the whole fucking year. And I'm like, dude, that's two trips to a fucking sports bar, you know? So yeah, that's what I do, man. I'm on the fucking direct TV bandwagon and I'm probably going to always have it. I'm just like, yo, that's just a, an expense. I, I fucking, I'm going to have fuck it. So back to direct TV, man, this is not fucking free advertising for these <laughs> motherfuckers, but at the same time, they are the shit dude, you know, recording shit, all that. It's just way better, man. You know? So uh, next topic, man. So we're uh, we're fucking got the final four going on, man. What do you think about uh, these four teams? Who do you think is going to win? Who do you think is going to be there at the end? And who's going to be playing on Monday? Well, I mean, obviously the the best team is UConn. They are apparently I saw their Kempom rating uh, adjusted for uh, I forget what it is. Like their metric for like overall is yeah. the best. It's the best team. Like it's the third best team of all time. That didn't surprise me. And they have been, dude, they just keep getting better and better every week. Since the big, regular up. season, they've gotten better and better. And they, you know, the Big East, they ran through that shit like knife through butter, uh, which is a really good conference, as you know. And yeah, dude, they're going to beat Alabama. I think they're like 12 point favorites, dude. That's crazy, dude, in and, the Final Four. And I, but I do think Purdue is, uh, you know, it's always fun to root against or like to bet against Purdue because they always fuck up. But I think this year's different. They're a team on a mission. They have that killer instinct. So I think they're going to be NC State. Who's, you know, we all love Cinderella darlings and shit. And uh, I'll probably still root for NC State. But, you know, I'm also, like, excited to see the Purdue-UConn matchup, which I think is going to happen. And I still think UConn's going to win. But I think if Purdue gets past NC State like they should and UConn, I think that, that could be a good game, man. I think that could be, you know, a five-point spread. <laughs> Versus yeah. a, a double digit, which is where UConn is, but uh, and I was rooting for Tennessee too. That was that's a really good team. I'm glad that people found out who Dalton Connect with because that guy's been a baller all year, and he just couldn't keep up, you know, uh, with a great Purdue team. So yeah, I, I'd say UConn's a team to beat, uh, but watch out for Purdue. Um, UConn's look, just been on a tear, man. They've been just dude, like beating are, the fuck out of. When time, I watched man. them in San Diego State, like they were so much faster and yeah. so much more. And San Diego State's a decent, good team, man. They went to the championship last year, yeah. with mostly the same team. They just outmatched them everywhere. You could just tell, like San Diego State is not going to win this game, uh, even early when it was kind of like you know takes a second, twenty three, twenty one, or something yeah. Like that. Then it's just like they just like to put on the gas. We were watching that game at my place, and they went on a thirty to nothing run, man. UConn, thirty to nothing run. That was uh, that was against um, who was that? That was a team they just beat the Elite Eight. Yeah, that was this weekend. That was the one that we thought Illinois. was going to be re- Illinois. Yeah, yeah, who was? I was like, oh, everyone's like, if there was one team that's going to be, it's Illinois, and they just who is like one of the greatest offensive teams in basketball. They just blew Shut him out of the down. fucking yeah. – so, yeah, Danny Hurley, like I said this, I think he has a chance to be the Nick Saban of college basketball. Uh, like, I really do. I think he could build a dynasty that we haven't really seen before. I don't think – this is going to be the first back-to-back if they if win they, since if, Florida. Yeah, it's a big if, dude, because there's so many times when we say we crown people before yeah, it happens. Kentucky. And then shit happens, you know what I'm saying? So that year that Kentucky went undefeated? Yeah, I mean, you know, it's one game, man. It's single elimination. But, dude, they just look way better than everyone else. Yeah, they definitely do, man. The way they're beating the fuck out of teams in this tournament. Well, I think they're – what is their average, like – Like 14 points. I was going to say it's like 13, I think, is like what their fucking average uh, margin of victory is. So, yeah, man, uh, I I like the Final Four. It's it's crazy that Nate Oates got there. You know, that's a great story. There's a lot of good stories here. Of course, I'm rooting for NC State, man. I want to see DJ Burns. 
I'd love to see D- DJ Burns go up against uh, Kling- Klingan, Klingon, whatever the fuck his name is. Zach Eady. No, I mean, I'm going to look for that. I'm saying in the Zach championship Eady? game, in the championship against UConn. If oh, against UConn. Him. But, yeah, man, uh, that's going to be a good matchup. Zach Eady and fucking DJ Burns is going to be, you know, who's going to yeah. fucking. No, it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun to watch, man. I'm excited about it. Uh, I think it's a good final four, man, and I think it's going to be a good, you know, we got three games left. And then it's baseball season, NBA season, and shit, man. Yeah, so NBA, the real NBA season begins. Baseball season just got started. Yeah, we got about five or six more games left in the NBA season right now. We're watching the Cavs and the Suns right now. Big Cavs fan. Uh, but yeah, man, I think it's gonna be a fucking. I think it's gonna be a good final. Um, who are you taking, man? Let's just get that out, out of the way real oh, quick UConn. because we won't. Okay, yeah, you can. I'm gonna take NC State, man. Okay, Chad. Just to be the contrarian. Dude, you should put money on that. I no, bet I'm it's like plus 650. Yeah, I'd, I'd imagine put it probably 10 bucks is on like it, 550 you know? or 650 or something put like that. Put 10 bucks, get $65, mybookie.com, yeah. mybookie.ag. Yeah, that's not a bad idea, actually, man. I had a fucking awesome uh, four-game parlay lined up last week, and I thought I was going to get it. I had uh, the only team to fuck me. I, I thought Gonzaga was going to, you know, I think what, they were like six and a half point underdogs or something I like put, that. I put money on against five and a half and against yeah. Purdue. Man, I would have won. I, I only put like fucking six dollars down. I would have won like seventy five dollars or some shit like that. I was super excited about that, but yeah, they fucked me, so that sucked. But uh, I think it's gonna be a good ass final, man. A good ass fucking final four. I'm excited about it. Uh, did you hear about UConn's plane? Yeah. Yeah. So they're like everyone else is in Arizona right now. UConn's playing somehow fucking, I don't know, they're it's, flying it's, Spirit Airlines or some shit. Like, what the fuck is, is going on, on, dude? Saturday or Monday? Yeah, Saturday, man. Saturday. So they're fucking stuck in uh, Connecticut until probably at least tomorrow, it sounds like. Is that like. sabotage, you think? You think that that's... Dan Hurley's going to use it as that. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's like everybody's against us, even the maintenance yeah. guys. They're making us fly all the way to Arizona. They couldn't have fucking moved the Final Four to like New Jersey or some shit. What the fuck, you know? Yeah, no, that's 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 stupid that you can't get a plane off. There's been a lot of issues. That's with absurd, planes, dude. That's um, absurd. That's been in the news lately. Yeah, Apparently, just, we just decided to not know how to fucking yeah. have uh, operational planes. Well, Boeing, you know what I'm saying? They're like killing whistleblowers and shit like that, dude. So, I mean, like, what that the fuck? shit's Michael Clayton shit. Where like the guy just. They they convinced him to stay one extra day. Yeah, he was gonna go home. Yeah, and he's then he just shot himself after he, like he his life <laughs> yeah, work dude, is yeah. coming to completion. And what was funny is that they asked him to stay an extra day. That's what I'm saying. Know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They asked. He was him. supposed to go. They're like, hey, why don't you stay an extra day They're so like, we can fuck. fucking murder you? Yeah, Motel like Six Michael parking Clayton, lot. If you ever see the movie, you definitely should. It's it's a yeah. That's really weird. It's fucked up that that happens and like no one even says anything. Like this dude they, just like they fucking did, got murdered. They did, but they go. You know, it's all, all of those shit is always covered up because they probably pay off the cops. Well, yeah, of course, um, dude. Or, or like, I don't you know. know. You know, it's crazy how many of all that that fishy shit has always just been like, no, no foul play. Yeah, and yeah. It's like there's no real justice. You know, yeah. it's like, um, it's like, oh, this dude that was about to bring down your entire yeah. company, fucking, and you asked to stay an extra day, ends up getting fucking, ends up dying. Yeah. Like that's just, that's just like normal. It shit. It just shows it like how corrupt uh, all these police departments yeah, are because you think that like. You know, it's like they they can't be in on it. They just happen to be the police department yeah. in the city. But apparently, you know, maybe they're paid off or, you know, maybe the, this guy's like, if you know what's good for. Maybe he, like, has a daughter named Tiffany. And they're like, Tiffany's doing really good in her sixth yeah, grade choir, it'd be right? be a shame if she fucking. Yeah, it'd be a shame. Maybe you should just uh, sign that report as suicide and just carry on with your life. Well, yeah, of course. And then so. Christmas will come along and Tiffany will be there and you'll like, give her a big little puppy dog and everything will be fine. And then so, yeah, then the. The chief of police is just the detective is like, yeah, yeah of course we're going to fucking acquiesce, you know? Yeah. So um, anyway, one thing I want to say about the women's shit, man, is that I've got to say this, dude, I'm sorry, but it's pretty fucking funny. Did you notice how like every person that's gotten beat in these tournaments, every girl cries in the press conference? <laughs> <laughs> It's like, dog, y'all ain't doing yourself any favors, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, 
Angel Reese, first of all, she spent like the entire year being the villain, oh, embracing that role. I got to take, I got to take on that. And then immediately afterwards, she's like, "I've been through so much. I've been through. Dude. I've been sexualized." It's like, well, maybe, maybe, maybe Angel. Here's a here's a fucking uh, a great idea. Maybe don't show fucking a uh, a uh, claymation of your pussy. You know, what on you on. Did you see she did that? No, dude, she's an attention. On, she's an attention she whore on like Instagram. Did she see? okay. So like, if you want to be the bad guy, that's cool. Yeah. Be the bad guy, but then you can't just like you can't be talking shit. I think what did she talk shit like the game before that where she like said something like she like some girl got fouled out and she's like bye bye yeah, like yeah, being all a bitch yeah. and then like at the beginning of this game against Iowa she puts like a. Uh, a crown on the bench and like being all like fucking it's like okay you want to be the bad guy okay but then the minute you lose and yeah. you're gonna cry yeah. and act like everyone's being it's like dude you can't have it both ways you can't cry was, after you've been if you're the villain be the villain but you can't be like feel bad for me i'm a villain but i lost yeah because if you didn't lose you probably would have talked some more shit mad shit i wish caitlin clark had talked some shit to her dude i wish she waved bye to her when she got fouled out because she got fouled out at that yeah, game at the same time fuck caitlin clark though too because that she faked a fucking injury earlier this year the court storm. I don't know if she faked an injury, but she faked. That was she faked it. Totally like she fake. faked that she was like, "Oh my god, I'm hurt." Oh, that was that was fucking fake. As hell. I don't like, think. She, yeah, but she didn't. Flop she didn't was, flipowski where she said yeah. she was injured. So that's what I'm gonna say. Caveat here is that it's not just. This isn't just like exclusive to like women's sports. Yeah. Philipowski did the same shit. That fucking douchebag. He bag. did it worse though, man, because he actually said he was injured. Yeah. And, and then he made like, it seem like cried. he wasn't playing the next game, and then of course he's fine. And he fake cried. That was the gayest shit I've ever seen. He, he like cried? fake cried. I yeah. didn't see that. You didn't see the the fucking photo of him like fucking. Argh. Oh, that's pretty gay. Dude. That, that was gay as shit. I mean, Caitlin Clark is a girl, so yeah, you know, so that girls get a lot more uh, leeway there. But if you're but, a dude, you cry because some guy bumped into you. <laughs> yeah, dude, that was so that's pretty dead. That's it's pretty so, bad. Yeah, this, this this epidemic of like athletes like. It's basketball Crying players, man. After they it's a lot of it's beat. basketball players. Yeah, it's I basketball agree. players and wide receivers. Yeah. You know, wide receivers are basically basketball yeah. players on the football field. But yeah, there's just this huge, like, they're prima donnas, dude. And just pussies, dude. Yeah. Just giant pussies, man. But yeah, these women got to stop crying in press conferences, man, because uh, it's not doing them well, any Well, they favors. cry. I've seen them. So I was watching. So, first of all, uh, you know, women's basketball, they do the best that they can. But it was funny because you said that when I was at your place. And I was like, well, I'm kind of impressed at their ball movement and stuff, which they have pretty good. They run plays and stuff. But, yeah, like it is different watching women's basketball game because you can't – they don't jump. They can't jump. Yeah, there's no – So, like, whenever they, like, go to the rim, it's, like, kind of like – it's like if I went to do a layup yeah, but dude. I'm, like, 240, like, ugh. Yeah. It's like there's no jump. It's like the best they could do. I'm not shitting on them. Yeah, it's just It's just funny <laughs> to kind of watch because, like, there was this one play I was – because I watched that game and, like, she tried to do, like, a, a underneath – the basket kind yeah. of like a layup reverse layup, yeah. reverse layup and like she couldn't jump enough so of course <laughs> yeah, she just hits dude. the rim and like goes down yeah. um so that was kind i watched of- a little bit of a game the other day and i was like there was like uh like someone got loose under the basket i was like oh sh- this is about to be a dunk and then i'm like oh what the fuck am i thinking <laughs> like dude this is not gonna be a dunk it ends up getting swatted by somebody you know what i'm saying i'm like fuck well, like yeah i mean Kaylin mm-hmm. clark watching her it's like yeah she can hit threes from a long distance uh she can pass really well yeah you know but like when she tried to go inside she didn't really have uh i noticed she didn't have like a killer like inside game she got blocked pretty you know so i'm not i'm not shitty but yeah it, it is it's cool, good, good for them. You know, I know what's it? Who's playing UConn and what's that chick's name? The UConn chick, Paige, Paige uh, Brecker, Buckers, or Becker, Beckers. Yeah, so that'll be fun. You know, I think it's it is. I like the storyline. Uh, I'm not hating, but it's just not the same. Yeah, it's not at all, close, man. At all, dude. Nah. Like the speed and just the jump, just to be able to jump. athleticism. Yeah, dude. It's just like it's weird to watch, man. It's like. Yeah, I, I was a sports reporter back in the day, man, and I used to cover uh, like high school women's basketball oh, well, and shit. And worse. it was just like it was pretty funny. Dude. That's not even well. So like I, I've been a few. My high school actually went to the state in women's basketball. So yeah. at the Irwin, the old Irwin Center. Mm-hmm. So we all went because that was like the only sport we ever went to state when I was there, <laughs> yeah. and it was fun. Um, and then I saw – I went to South – I went to a, a game at – there's this town in my hometown, a uh, college called Southwestern, and they're like Division three, And so I saw 
I got I don't know why it was like someone was doing so. So I got I went to this women's basketball game there. It was, yeah. Like there's a difference between there, at least you're watching the final four. You're watching like premier women's basketball. Yeah. You know, it's a total different story. Completely different. And yeah, you know what? Those girls are competing. You know, and I ain't hating. Like I respect the you know what it is. It's just not the same. Ob- obviously, dude. I mean, this is obviously if it wasn't for Caitlin Clark and these storylines. I don't think that women's it may get a little bump in the future, maybe yeah. a little bit, but it's not going to, you know, next year if there's no stars like that, I don't see it being near as bump. Yeah, they're going to lose a lot of Angel Reese just declared for the WNBA, Caitlin Clark's gone. Yeah, they're going to lose a lot of that momentum and everything. But um yeah, man, uh it's fucking it's hilarious. Uh I'll be honest, I can't wait for it to go away. <laughs> Chad's just very like uh. I'm just a misogynist no it's just I just don't enjoy it I just like I like the athleticism of the of the men's game and shit you know what I'm saying I'm, I'm happy that you know I guess that people are watching it and everything like that you know what I mean but I could care less you know I yeah I mean it's like even when I was I watched that game and um you're like oh my god and I'm like okay well she's basically just hitting long shots which is cool the defense is terrible she she you know she can pass you know, and when she was passing these people were like wide open. They were like streaking across. Yeah, dude. I think it's and then we... like like so I'm like that's kind of an LSU. They kept on letting yeah. they, like because yeah. they would do a fast break and this chick would like wh- I forget what her name was, but she would always be like open and then Caitlin Clark would throw her a pass accurate, but it wasn't. Yeah. It was just like a wasn't like Larry Bird or something putting like the dime and the. Yeah, I did see her do a, a behind the back pass, but. I think we have to like admit that uh, women's college basketball coaches are fucking terrible. You know, like Kim Mulkey, like what the fuck was she thinking? There's like so many different things you can do. Like, oh, with trap, that, send somebody else. Oh, after they just her. put that one girl on her, yeah. and uh, and everyone. I guess that chick was famous because everyone kept talking about her on Twitter. Yeah, the Van Fleet, or I guess she Van Lith or something. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. I don't know if she used to be like a hottie or because there's always like that. There's also that women's basketball player that's famous because she's hot. Yeah. Right. I think that may have been her. I think if, and anyways, everyone was talking about. Yeah, she didn't. And then at the end of the game, she started. They started double teaming her. Mm-hmm. I'm like, you probably okay, should have well, done that. That's like thirty minutes too late. You know? Yeah, they probably should have done that. And then you, what she did say is like, well, we knew that she was going to score. We just thought that we could take away the team. That was dumb. But yeah. she didn't take away the team because uh, I, she had twelve assists. So, um, um yeah. yeah. Uh, before we go, uh, we got to talk about Kim Mulkey sketch, man. So we've done three Kim Mulkey sketches, uh, all three of which have done pretty well, except for one was like fucking not well received. But uh, last one we did, uh, Kim Mulkey asked me anything parody, uh, fucking almost a million uh, impressions on Twitter and shit, which is pretty fucking cool. Yeah, that's it's funny how um, the second one. Didn't have anything. No one cared about that one. They didn't People like probably that. did. It just, I don't know. The first joke was, I, you know, we're just learning. Yeah. I think people are still sensitive about shit, which to us, we just, we're not sensitive about any of that shit. No. Nah. We're just like, oh, that's funny. And so we would say it. And yeah. Then, um, yeah. But, you know, the third one was good, dude. And, and people enjoyed yeah. it. I think being in the car helped a lot. It, uh, it added a little different scenery to it, you know? Yeah. It was more... Um, dynamic because you're moving. Yeah, around. I agree, man. But uh, almost a million impressions on Twitter, which is pretty fucking awesome, man. Pretty exciting. But uh, we've got some more sketches that we're gonna be working on, and um, that's what we're about to do right now. Actually, is talk about that, and then we got some uh, commercials also that we're gonna be doing for my bookie. They're gonna be released uh, here, I believe, next week. Actually, I spoke with our boss basically, and uh, next week we're gonna be releasing those. So look out for those. Um, before we go, we're going to wrap this up, but make sure you go to mybookie.ag, use promo code DMP, and you get a 50% match on your deposit all the way up to $1,000. So if you put down fucking $500, they're going to give you a $250 bonus. This is a pretty good fucking deal, right? Hell yeah, dude. That's, yeah. A, I mean, 50% of your deposit, that's, that's killer. Yeah, that's killer, man. So uh, make sure you go to mybookie.ag, give us a follow on Twitter, at DMP Sports Show. We got a bunch of new stuff coming out here soon. We appreciate you guys listening. Uh, Please tell your friends about the show. We'll see you guys next week. Peace.